Question 2, part A. Measure and write down the length of the line AB. So this is the line AB here, and it says clearly state the units you are using. When it says this, it usually means you're going to mark for giving you units, so make sure you don't forget. So I need my ruler here, and I'm going to place my ruler so that the line starts at zero here. And then I need to measure where it ends. So here it met, it ends just over 10. So it's 10 and one line. So that would be 10.1. And we're measuring in centimeters, the ruler will tell you. So that will give me 10.1 centimeters. Now you get one mark for having the measurement correct and one mark for the units. Now you're allowed two millimeters either side, so plus two millimeters or minus two millimeters to have the answer correct. So if you measured yours and came up with 10.1, 10.2, 10 10.3, either one of those, then you will be correct because they allow you two centimeters above the correct answer. If you measured your line and had 10.1, 10 centimetres, or 9.9 .9 centimetres, then you'd also have it correct because they allow you minus two millimetres as well. Part B. Part B says, in the space below, draw a circle with a diameter of eight centimetres. So firstly, we need to think what the diameter is. So we're drawing a circle, diameter of eight centimeters. So this would be a circle here. And the diameter is the length that goes from one end to the other end, straight through the center of the circle. And that there needs to measure eight centimeters. Okay, I need to draw this accurately using a compass. So I'm just going to draw a small circle with the compass here. So what you'll notice is when I draw this circle with a compass, my compass point is the center of the circle and my pencil is drawing the circumference, the outside of the circle. So I need to measure from the point of my compass to the pencil so that it gives me a diameter of eight centimeters. But this measurement here between the point and the pencil is not the diameter of the circle as you can see. This here is the radius of the circle, which is exactly, as you can see, half the diameter. So to draw an accurate circle with a diameter of eight centimeters, I need to measure my compass, the, bit, the point between the point here and the pencil, so that that is exactly half of the diameter. So the diameter is eight, so I need to half that. So the radius must be four centimeters, okay? So let's talk about how um, to use your compass to start with. So a lot of people get um, a bit flustered. So these are the school compasses. They can be provided for you, but it's always good to have your own so you're not waiting for the invigilator to pass them around. So you put your compass on the paper. So the point is on the paper. And then pop your pencil in there. Okay, so make sure your pencil is touching the page. So then at all parts of your circle, you know your pencil will make contact with the paper. Then you use this to tighten it up.
Okay, so keep it on the page and tighten until the pencil won't move. Okay, so now you're going to um, measure the distance from the point of your compass to the pencil. So we said we needed to have a distance of four centimeters, so that would be the radius. So I'm going to put my ruler in the center of the page. So I've got enough space around the page to draw my circle. So if I put the point on zero, that's here. Point on zero and exactly the pencil at four. Okay, so now I have a distance from here to here, which will be the radius of my circle at four centimeters. Now I've measured that. I'm not going to touch the pencil so that it moves because that means my uh, accuracy would be off. It would no longer be four centimeters. So I'm going to put my point on the center of the page. That's going to be the center of my circle. And I'm going to hold the compass with these two fingers here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roll the top of the compass through my fingers and that turns it so that I can then draw my circle. Okay, this just takes a bit of practice to get used to. So at the minute, my pencil is not touching the paper. I'm just practicing being able to turn the compass all the way around with these fingers. Okay, so now I'm putting pressure on this point so this point doesn't move. Okay, again, I'm not touching the pencil because otherwise the distance between here and here will no longer be four centimeters, which is what we need. So I'm going to keep my piece of paper nice and still. I'm putting pressure on the point and now I'm letting the pencil touch the paper and I'm just going to move these fingers here and I'm going to swoop, swoop, swoop. So I'm just going over it so the line gets darker. And again, this point hasn't moved off the paper. If it does move off the paper, that's okay. Don't panic. I've taken mine off now. I can't see, I may not be able to see the point that it was on, but if I gently go over where I think the point was, the point will get stuck in the hole that it was in. So that is exactly where the point was. Okay, so now you'll see, if I go over that line again, it's in exactly the same position. So if you do move your compass at any point, don't panic and start doing it all over again. Just find the point where the compass was. If you're putting enough pressure on it, it will leave a nice indent. So what you'll see now, is I've only done half my circle by turning my fingers like this. So I'm gonna move my hand slightly and bring the compass back. And then I'm gonna do the same, swoop. Faint line, I'm gonna go back and go over it. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust my hand because I have to come around the back here. And then I'm gonna swoop and swoop. Okay. Now I've drawn my full circle, I can take my point off and I can actually see where the centre of my circle is now. So I can see that the point is here. Okay, so that's the centre of my circle. So I needed to have the radius at four centimetres and the diameter, so the radius would be here from the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle and as you can see that is exactly four centimeters and it says the diameter must be eight centimeters okay so the question asks for an eight centimeter diameter so I'm going to double check that I've done that now if the radius is four then the diameter is obviously eight and as you can see it is exactly eight here 
So I'm just going to draw the diameter and I'm going to label it 8 centimeters. And that there gives you one mark. Okay.